Tracking the latest thereof, Hurricane Hillary. We appreciate everyone joining us this Saturday evening. I am your host, Mike Pace, as we continue to roll on right here. Want to show you uh, just moments ago, National Hurricane Center putting out their last update for the day. We want to bring that to you right here on Live Now from Fox. We've already had some flooding issues to develop today in Southern California, well in advance of Hillary's approach. This is just uh, a signal of what's to come as the main core of tropical moisture moves up into the area tomorrow. So let's switch over to the forecast graphics, the, the cone and the watch warning. So Hillary right now, uh, down here just to west of the southern tip of the Baja Peninsula, uh, maximum stain winds are now down to 110 miles per hour, category two, category two on the Saffir Simpson scale, and moving north northwest at 17 miles per hour. This is faster than the previous advisory. Again, this acceleration that we've been talking about that is going to allow Hillary to hang on to its intensity and move into the southwest of the United States. It'll slowly weaken uh, through the rest of the day and overnight, uh, passing um, right here close to the western, either passing right along or over the western side of the Baja Peninsula overnight, dropping down to a category one on the Saffir Simpson scale. And then tomorrow around lunchtime, uh, dropping below hurricane strength, dropping below hurricane strength sometime tomorrow during the day before moving into the southwestern United States. So we do not anticipate a hurricane moving into Southern California, but we do anticipate a tropical storm. And that's why on this map, you see this blue area here, a tropical storm warning is in effect for the area in blue. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here so you can see where you're at. Uh, get some cities. So you can see that covers LA, San Diego, and Palm Springs. So this is gonna be this tropical uh, gust, especially at these higher elevations. Um, is going to move into the area. And these winds will probably start moving into the area uh, during the day tomorrow. So this is faster than we talked about before. So if you were thinking that tomorrow you could prepare, uh, I think that window has closed and we have to use what's left of today to finish preparation. So that's your first take home action from this briefing is you need to be fully prepared by sundown today. That's only a few hours left. So if you haven't prepared, um, take the, this next few hours of, of sunlight and daylight to prepare for this upcoming threat. Now, the biggest threat from Hillary is going to be the really heavy rainfall. So we've talked about this. This hasn't changed. The forecast hasn't changed in this weakening trend that you see in the intensity does not change this threat at all. So if we zoom in here and look at some of these rainfall amounts, let me get the legend back on the map here, just a wide area of two to four inches over Southern California and then st extending up into uh, Southern and Central Nevada, covering Las Vegas. Uh, these, yellow, these yellow areas here, four to six inches of rain. Now, if you're not familiar, this is a lot of rain for this area, a lot of rain. And remember, this rain's gonna come down faster or harder or quicker than what you're used to seeing in your typical um, winter time rainstorm. So that's why we have, this is the flood risk map. So this is the chance of significant flooding. Um, and if you've been following this week, you, you remember this red area has expanded substantially. It now covers all of Los Angeles. It previously only covered a portion of Los Angeles. And look how far up into uh, Nevada extends covering Las Vegas. And then the high risk, and I'm gonna tell you from experience, these high risk are not often uh, we don't issue these many times, and the majority of the flood-related deaths occur in these high-risk situations. So if you're in this purple area, specifically uh, the Palm Springs area, you really, really need to take this seriously. If you're within this red area here, tomorrow is not going to be a good day to be driving around. So what I recommend, your second take-home message, if you're in this area here, is get what you need to be comfortable, groceries, supplies, whatever you need to be comfortable for the next day or so, and then stay put. Uh, just don't be driving in this area. Many roads are gonna be preemptively or already been shut down. And once the heavy rains start occurring, um, they will be very, very dangerous and impassable. So just don't be driving around tomorrow. Let's just stay home and be safe. I want to point out, because you're gonna see a lot 
of flood warnings tomorrow. Right now, this entire yellow area is a flood watch, which means conditions for flooding are possible. Look how far up into its, the uh, Intermountain West it extends through Idaho, portions of Oregon, even touching southeast uh, Washington. Almost all, all of the Intermountain West here touched by it. But what's most important is you've seen some red areas starting to pop up here. These are warnings. So if you don't know the difference between a watch and a warning, um, we can go through. A watch means conditions are possible, where a warning means conditions are happening. So for example, a flash flood warning means flash flooding impacts are occurring or imminent. Now why is that important? Because you're going to see this area start to fill in with warnings as the day uh, sun comes up tomorrow and through the day tomorrow. Some of you have these uh, alerts on your phone. You're going to see these come in on your phone. You need to know that a warning means it's imminent or occurring. Now if you've turned off those emergency alerts on your phone, turn them back on because things are going to get really dangerous in this area tomorrow and you want to have the latest information minutes and seconds matter when it comes to flooding flash flooding especially flash flooding and another emergency alert you might see you might not be familiar with it a flash flood emergency these are not in effect right now but you could see them tomorrow that means flash flood situation that presents a clear threat to human life is occurring or imminent um, these are the ones you really have to take seriously. So again, if you've turned your alerts off on your cell phones, turn them back on. If you're watching from somewhere outside of this and you have family or friends, call them and tell them to take this threat seriously. Tell them to watch this video. Tell them to look at their local forecast and take this threat seriously. Tomorrow is simply not going to be a good day to be moving around. We really need people to get their supplies, get situated, get settled, and then stay there. This will be our last video update for the day, but we'll be back tomorrow at the same time tomorrow to provide any updates. Also, you can get interim updates, as always, from our website at hurricanes.gov. We will see you back here tomorrow. All right, that was the National Hurricane Center. We are bringing that to you right here on Live Now from Fox. We are going to take our final break here of this hour. Stay right here 